Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day or night in Jesus. Thank you so much for being with us. We're going to look at what is the interpretation of tongues today, the interpretation of tongues. And, you know, over the years, I've probably done so many studies on that. You can check out Gifts of the Spirit, search the channel for any of those type things. But I want to focus in specifically on what is the interpretation of tongues, because there seems to be some discrepancy. Now, um, I would say as a Pentecostal, but also just through biblical, proper biblical uh, exegesis, that the interpretation of tongues is when somebody speaks in tongues in a service and then it's interpreted. And the Bible says, let he that speaks in an unknown tongue pray that he may interpret. Because tongues, as we find in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and chapter 14, without interpretation is not really doing anybody any good in a public setting. Now, of course, and I've done so many videos on this and teachings over the years of the different usages of tongues in the New Testament church. Of course, it's the initial sign or the initial evidence of receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Um, the Bible talks about praying with tongues. It talks about singing with tongues. And so praying with the Spirit or in the Spirit, uh, building up yourself in most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Some of that's groanings that can't be uttered. Some of it would be speaking with tongues. But then there is a tongue that goes forth in a public assembly that's to be interpreted. And so understanding or discerning which type of tongue is going forth is a real key. So what we're looking at today is tongues that go forth in a service. And if you've ever been in a Pentecostal service, I mean, there's a holy hush that comes over a congregation. Even babies will stop crying. It's pretty amazing. And then somebody will give a verbal understanding of that tongue. Now notice it's the interpretation of tongue, not the translation of tongues. And so that's the reason sometimes the tongue might be very short, the interpretation might be very long, or vice versa. Because again, it's not the translation, it is the interpretation of tongues. Now, I've tried to interpret 1 Corinthians 12 and 14 by saying, you know, I've got friends that believe this, that it's just a foreign language. And so speaking with tongues, is some sort, and, and there's several different variations of this. It's either a supernatural ability to speak a foreign language, or it's just like learning language going to school. And then the interpretation of tongues would be somebody there that needed to hear it in that language. Now, I have known of several occasions where people in a congregation could understand what was being spoken. But I will say, just putting it verse by verse and line by line, I can't get that, you know, because it's all about unknown and several different other factors. It's like, that just doesn't seem to fit. It does seem like it's a supernatural gift of the Spirit. Somebody speaks with tongues and somebody gives an interpretation. It does say, if there's not an interpreter present, let the first person keep silent, which seems that some people must be given to yielding to the Spirit of God in the interpretation of tongues, that they would have this uh, understanding of this gift and be able to do it. Now, probably the A number one question or the A number one misunderstanding that I get on this, and I have given some interpretations in tongues over the years. It's not a, on a regular basis, but a few times, I don't know, probably uh, somewhere around 10, maybe slightly more than that, maybe even slightly less, but you know, maybe more than that. And so people say, well, when the person is speaking with tongues, do you understand in English what they're saying? The answer is no, I don't, but I will feel in the spirit. We have the power of the Holy Ghost on the inside of us that I am supposed to begin speaking. Now, usually I don't have the entire message. Sometimes I'll have quite a bit of it, but sometimes I'll just have a little bit and I will begin to speak in the anointing of the Holy Ghost. The Spirit of God will speak through us. And uh, people say, was well, it like scripture? Of course not. Nothing comes 
to, close to the voice of God in Scripture. I know we're supposed to, if any man speaks, let him speak as the oracles of God, 1 Peter 4.11. But I would never equate an interpretation of tongues or even a prophecy with Bible. I would say the Bible reigns supreme. It's forever settled in heaven. It's a totally different thing. But it doesn't mean that the interpretation of tongues cannot have prophetic import, edificational import, and be 100% true, because it can be and should be as well. So sometimes people within the Pentecostal movement, outside the Pentecostal movement, have questions on what's the interpretation of tongues. And so I would say any of the humanistic type interpretations or people who do not believe speaking in tongues is for today or don't understand the differentiation of the different types of tongues, that I can't, again, fit it in the matrix at all. Uh, I had a good friend of mine passed away and he was just totally convinced about tongues, Pentecost being one thing and supernatural understanding of the year hold on and so forth. I cannot see that. I love them, love the people who, who you know would have a different understanding, but it does seem like it's a supernatural empowerment to interpret a tongue that is to be interpreted. And uh, these things, you know, are spiritually discerned, and uh, the carnal man can't know the things of God according to Holy Scripture. So, anyhow, pray if you've spoken with tongues and it is a tongue that is loud in a service. And you can tell the difference when somebody's praying quietly in tongues and it's not interrupting a service, and a tongue for edification or a tongue that is to be interpreted, you can tell the difference. You really can. And uh, maybe you just have to be spiritually attuned. I don't know, but I can certainly tell the difference. And I know many people that can tell the difference. Uh, you just certainly can. Um, pray that you may interpret. So God bless. Hey, thanks for being with us today. Pray for us. Check out our other videos. Subscribe. Hit the bell notification. And we'll talk with you later. In Jesus' name.